What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, I am at the crib. I have gotten the crib together to be an office for y'all as well. Um, yeah, sometimes I just want to get up and get to it so I can just get out to bed and get to it. But some days, I want to go to the office and I want to be outside. And sometimes at night, I just want to be in here. So, I bought another setup. I did. Ooh, I did. And here we are, okay? So, yeah, we about to get into Voice for the People. Uh, this is about Krishan. Uh, well, DDG defending Krishan. Let's get it. DDG defends Krishan Rock after a Twitter post is going viral about Krishan Jr. possibly being blind. Now, the person who tweeted this point out that Krishan Jr. didn't grab for the food when it came. Also, when people were talking around him, he didn't look towards the voice. DG tweets, speaking down on people's innocent children is the lamest ever widow I behavior. Agree. Anybody that got something to say about a kid, my son, Krishan Jesus Malone Jr., he's straight. He's a billion dollar baby, so stay tuned. No, he's not blind. No, he's not retarded. Saying he's blind is crazy. Talking about a baby at all is crazy. But insinuating that he's blind is just like. Why? Why would you? Okay. He's a child. I'm not even addressing nothing. Because I don't give a f You feel me? We ain't talking about your baby because... They don't get you babies. Congratulations again to <laughs> Leslie. She recently gave birth to her twins and yesterday for the first time since birth, she got to hold her babies together. Congratulations to King and Lena. Aww. They had their engagement party yesterday. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Daisha had this to say when someone asks, have your entire relationship and bond fell apart because you never do videos with her. You just do videos with your little sister and parents and other people. Nope, we good. We just got different lives. So sometimes when I can record, she can't record. Sometimes when she can record, I can't record. So y'all, they grown with children. Well, just, she's got, she has children. We having a conflict with scheduling. So that's pretty much why we have to like just plan better. That's it. And I still be want to produce content, whether she can record or not. I don't want to just let the channel die because if I just wait for her to record, y'all won't get nothing. Kamari is moving back okay. to Indiana at the royalty forcefully accused her for the second time of allegedly harming the twins. CJ posts since she, which is That's he's terrible that that girl has to move away from her father that she just started staying with because of that ridiculous shit right there. Oh my God. Now I do not, I don't like her at all. Uh, since she can't keep my daughter's name out of her mouth, I will be moving her back to Indiana now. Let's see what lies she can tell and who she will pin them on. She's talking about royalty. Can't keep my daughter's name out of her mouth. I will be moving her back to Indiana now. Let's see what lies she would tell and who she would pin them on. Why would a child wait a whole week to say something? Better yet, why would a mother wait a whole week to bring it up in front of the police station? I have I never agree. in my life heard anything about Kamari doing anything today until Charlene said it. But what's hilarious is Charlene doesn't know. I don't make Kamari watch my kids. I'm with them 24 seven. So nothing like that could ever happen over here. But the moment I asked my kid about it, she says that her mom Mom made her do it because she was playing with the coconut oil that's the truth i know my kids are young and adventurous but living in a two-bedroom apartment with 12 people in it makes it hard to have fun oh so royalty don't have a house no more for real that's crazy so she possibly messed up the house with oil and they punished her with the weirdest shit that they could think of that makes more sense than kamari being involved charlene feared my daughter would tell me what happened so she quickly jumped out the car to tell me it happened at my house to try to confuse me and daya but unfortunately for her daya has and always will be the super smart and she won't be coached to lie about true events and for the people who love to assume the worst about well, me she got coached by him too at the same time and he was trying to get it to the internet before she did. Both of y'all need to sit y'all ass down. That's what y'all need to do. This guy, I'm sick of it. Why haven't I came to the internet or Charlene about Cordea begging me for a bath every week as soon as they walk in the house because they don't take baths in that two bedroom apartment. Fingernails and toenails mm -hmm. super black and dirty every week. I said, Daya, didn't you take a bath at your mom's house? She always say the same thing. No, daddy, they don't let me take baths because there's bugs in the bathroom, aka roaches. Y'all can say what y'all want about me, but I've always been the same with my kids. I treat them right and make sure that they have the best time of their lives. I really do hope she stopped using meth and get back to being a productive parent using because she's showing crash out 
about signs and I don't want that for her. First she lost me, then she lost to Nike, then she lost her position on my $9 million life insurance policy, then she lost her house, then she lost her car, then she lost in court. Now she lost her mind so instead of feeding into her, maybe we should all pray for her. I hope to God she released her second video recording threatens this in my head because she's so lost i don't even think but she this, realized how far gone she is man, this fool talking about he want his family back shut up and it's crazy man they got my head so freaking big right now man i'm just going through the comment section and all i see is people talking about oh yeah they're on the fake rick owens man he posted on snapchat correction they're not fake rick owens they're shoes that i got off sheen what the freak are you talking about bro anyway I guess people misunderstood just because I bought my kids something that looks very fly for the low. I don't even know how much these cost because I don't look at prices, but I guarantee you they are worth every freaking penny. Unlike the Rick Owens that I already own, that I barely wear because they hurt my freaking feet and they're created by a devil worshiper. Look it up. <laughs> what? All that shit you wear, nigga. <laughs> Bro. I mean, some people only come to my Snapchat for tea. I will say, I ain't buying them Rick Owens either. I tried on the Mason Maharas. That was probably one of the worst shoes I ever put on in my damn life. And y'all know me. I'm not for being no uh, designer hoe. Girl, I just, it won't ever be me. I don't care how much money I get. And it ain't because I can't afford it. I just bought. I ain't even going to tell you how much I spent today. But, yeah, nobody has time for that. So they don't even like us. Want some tea? But I will forever buy them shades. They got some good shades, man. Here's your tea. Son, first time wearing these shoes. If they was $1,000 Ricks, I would be upset right now. But because they came from a site that cost a fraction of the cost, I don't care that he messed them up. I don't care that he's living his life and he's playing in his shoes and getting dirty and doing what kids do. But y'all, y'all expect me to go deep into my pockets, knowing my son been wearing a size 10 for almost over a year, which means that his feet is more than likely gonna grow sooner than later. But you think I'm gonna waste my money on some shoes for him that he's not gonna care about? This boy is more focused on Spider-Man than anything. What's up, Spider-Man? <laughs> Listen, I think that he is growing to be a great dad. And I just think that he also has a terrible baby mama. But I also think that he's a terrible baby daddy from time to time. Okay. So, yeah, that's just kind of how I feel about the situation. I just wish that um, they could come together and not. You know what? No, I don't. That's a lie. I just wish that they could have somebody else at the drop off. <laughs> Y'all don't have to talk. Y'all don't have to do Nathaniel. But drop them kids off. That is the goal here. And for them to deal with that every day at the um, at the drop off is beyond me. OK, um, but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.